Well, Taiwan reported 24 imported COVID cases on Thursday, a record high in recent weeks. The CCC says the daily case count may rise beyond 50 in the future as Omicron continues its spread across the globe. Among the 24 cases reported Thursday, two were guests at a Taipei quarantine hotel. An investigation is underway to determine whether they were infected by the same strain. It's a quiet day at this quarantine hotel in Taipei's Zhongzhen district. All guests have been relocated to quarantine facilities after three cases of COVID were detected in the building. Of course, we will have to carry out genetic sequencing for these three cases to check whether it's a cluster infection. Once the results are out, if they have the same sequence, that could mean that it was a cluster infection at the quarantine hotel. The hotel was vacated on Wednesday. According to the CECC, the three COVID patients had all stayed at the hotel between December 22nd and 25th. Genetic sequencing will be used to determine whether the three cases are connected. We are still investigating how they became infected. We're looking at their movements in the hotel, as well as the meal deliveries and the garbage collection. That's what we've been doing today, one by one. Tomorrow, we will also start collecting samples from the hotel environment. Quarantine hotel workers that have not received two doses of a COVID vaccine will be fine if they go into work. We will also reevaluate employee training. For example, employees are not to touch door handles. Taipei is taking no chances. Test results have already come back negative for all hotel employees, as well as 67 current and former guests. In recent weeks, Taiwan has seen high numbers of imported cases, although the U.S. CDC orders only five days of isolation for asymptomatic patients. The CECC says it has no plans to change its rules for release. We've analyzed data from 17 Omicron patients in Taiwan to see how many days it took for the CT value to surpass 30. From the day they developed symptoms or tested positive, it's taking them between 8 and 12 days to meet the threshold for release. In reality, if we reduce isolation to 5 days, many cases would still be contagious after 5 days, according to our standards. Taiwan reported 24 imported COVID cases on Thursday, the highest number reported in a single day in recent weeks. The CECC says that the peak of the next global COVID wave is yet to come. In the future, it says, Taiwan may see days with more than 50 imported cases. Officials urge the public to get vaccinated to get protection against the disease.